So I just did a one-on-one -on -one with a lady, right? And she was talking about, you know, some of the typical stuff that y'all be talking about when y'all do one-on-ones with me, especially women. So a lot of y'all be having questions about how to get over a guy or get over a past relationship, right? But when y'all be describing to me like the nature of your dealings with this person, a lot of y'all, like most of y'all situations be electronic. Like it mostly consists of shit over the phone, right? And this is a real problem. Y'all keeping up. I need to know if y'all keeping up. All right, so look. A lot of y'all be talking to dudes and... And this is even true for niggas that be talking to females, right? When people, like, their main effort is to interact with you through... Excuse me, through an electronic device. The shit is not as serious as what you think it is. But I need y'all to understand that. When you talking to somebody and like they is okay with y'all just always being on the phone, texting one another back or talking to one another. They operating from this space of I'm just always real busy and I'll be having time. But text me. You are not that important to that person regardless of what you're trying to tell yourself. I need y'all to understand this. Because a lot of y'all, you keep asking like, well, how do I let go, love? How do I get over it? First, you need to just tell yourself, y'all wasn't really doing nothing but texting and calling one another. There was no real life shit going on. Y'all was fucking. When y'all do getting each other presents, you fucking and operating from a lust space. But other than that, y'all wasn't doing nothing. What is it that you getting over? You need another text, buddy? You need another uh, somebody to play phone tag with? Or sit on the phone all day with no, no, y'all never pulling up in one another's presence. Some of y'all, it ain't nothing for y'all to get over. Don't even waste your money. Like, don't even book no one-on-one -on -one and sit on the phone and tell me how you and this nigga, like, all y'all problems stem over the telephone. It don't be no real vibes. It be nothing really going on. And I'm often I'm finna get y'all some real game. And you know, some niggas ain't gonna like the fact that I'm gonna say this, but y'all know I never gave a fuck what a bitch said, or think that I should have said, or you know, I never give a fuck what a bitch feel about what I'm saying, right? A lot of dudes will make it an important thing in the relationship, the phone relationship. They will make that a priority. Know why? Because I can keep the lust strong if you never actually see me, right? If you never actually in our day-to-day -day be in my presence or spend any real time around me, when we get around one another, women are going to generally want the man to like them. They're going to want to act on them feelings of lust that got drug on through the texts and the phone calls. So it makes it easier to get that pussy when I do pull up in your presence because most of the time we're talking over the phone. We're texting. You don't ever really get used to the idea of me being in your space because I never let you get that close that long. Some of y'all, if you think about it, that's what a nigga doing to you right now. And females that have gotten that masculine, like, I don't need a nigga for shit type attitude about them, they do the same thing. They'll send you naked pictures. They'll FaceTime you. You know, they'll send you all kind of texts. Even when conversations get serious, they're going to send you paragraphs and shit. It'd be enough to keep you dragging along, chasing the potential of what it could be if we were to ever mix in the physical for real. Just let that settle in.
It's a hundred percent facts. Some of y'all, this is the tactic getting used on y'all all the time. And people listen. A bitch could see up front. Like niggas on here tell you. They can tell up front if you one of them clingy ass females that I can just drag along as long as I keep texting you back. Or making it about phone conversations. You never require a nigga to pull up. When I be saying eight dates, ho, y'all be what that mean? Bitch, you know what it mean to make a nigga take you on a date. Ho, quit acting dumb. But you're not going to require that. All you going to do is hit a nigga phone all day long. And if he hit you back, y'all good. The nigga never got to pull up and take you nowhere. You don't never get to put on no clothes. Y'all don't never go to no restaurants or nowhere that you never been before. Nigga ain't going to never, God forbid, take you shopping somewhere or hell. You take him shot. Y'all never going to really do nothing. But text and call each other. It's an electronic relationship. It's the text messages for me. It's the phone calls for me. It's the FaceTimes for me. Like, pull up. And if a nigga don't pull up, or they don't got the time or the resources to pull up, guess what? Y'all don't got nothing going on anyways. Because this is the thing. Most of y'all is not even asking, texting, talking about the right shit. This is why you need the physical. A lot of y'all, you haven't gotten to a space where you and this person really connect to where you can even juggle a relationship where the phone is the main source of communication. Y'all don't even connect it like that. It definitely ain't for children, Flex, because some bitches' feelings hurt right now as I'm talking about this. No, I'm telling y'all, a lot of people purposely keep y'all at electronic distance. So that they don't actually have to put no real effort into the relationship. And it keeps the lust on 10. Y'all got to really listen to what I'm saying. What happens when you don't see somebody often? When you see them, there is this like emotional like charge that come over you. You can keep a bitch lusting for you. I'm just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me trying to see if y'all really get what I'm saying. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Anything that somebody genuinely want or is genuinely interested in, eventually they're going to pull up about it. You looking on the internet, you see some shoes you like, you want them bitches bad enough, Boom, we're going to see you at the mall eventually copping them hoes. Looking online for a job. Bitch, you want the job. Eventually, you're going to actually put plan into action, fill out an application, go see about that shit. Y'all be talking to people for months. They've never offered to take you on no genuine date or to date you. Consists all y'all doing is texting and calling and texting and calling. And then y'all be so emotionally attached to these text messages and phone calls. It be sad. The lust be on 10. The ability to understand one another be on zero. The amount of time y'all actually spent together that's valuable be on one. Ain't no grown man that genuinely got interest in you finna be sitting there with a female he feel like could possibly be the one for him or somebody and just keep texting and called. Like, listen, y'all even be believing like, okay, you know, some of y'all be talking to me. Y'all dating street niggas, right? So they be running the streets all day long, day and night. When them niggas find a bitch they really like, them niggas are offering for you to ride with them. I ain't saying go. I ain't saying say yes or no. I'm saying... That nigga be like, hey, listen, I don't know if I'm going to have time today, but shit, I'll come pick you up. You can slide with me to make a couple plays. That nigga going to make a pull-up happen. Y'all be talking to a bitch forever. Y'all let them tell y'all every excuse just to keep you as a text buddy, a pen pal, a phone buddy, an electronic girlfriend. Because that's all I be hearing when I be on these calls with y'all. When y'all be talking, I be like, yeah, she was an electronic girlfriend. And somebody getting that dick in the physical. Somebody getting that nigga time and his mental in the physical. 
And then some of y'all, he keep you suckered along with the phone calls and the text messages that when he finally do come around, all you want to do is fuck. So guess what the nigga is guaranteed to get out of you when he pull up? Some pussy. Easiest way nowadays to fuck you bitches. Text a shit, bro, that she like. Answer the phone for her, bro. Keep the conversation going with her, bro. When you finally pull up in her presence, that lust be so high, bitch gonna give you the pussy. Oh, she gonna give you the pussy. Let you be texting the paragraphs where it seems like you give a fuck, giving her them emotions and shit. Cause you know a bitch already be scarred, broken, halfway don't got no self-esteem and shit. Don't watch all these hoes on Instagram and shit. Don't even feel like she as pretty as what she let on her attitude uh, to make us think that she believe. But you know, text her things to make her feel good. Hit her with the good morning text, you know, whatever. Some niggas will stay in your DM. They won't even request your phone number. Bitch, man, y'all, you got a, 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 a Instagram relationship. Bitch, if the Instagram platform shut down you don't even got no nigga no more I'm just letting it settle in and this is definitely free game cause some of y'all this is how y'all get played y'all meet if you let me tell you something you meet me and depending on the distance between us you got about three four days you don't make no comments about coming to see this in the flesh I don't want you. I don't want to fuck with you. I ain't got no time. All right, I'm fuck with you. That jail, what I'm going to tell you. All right, I'll fuck with you. Yeah, I'll fuck with you. Start talking to your ass like a nigga. Yeah, what up, bro? Love, this me. Yeah, what up, my nigga? Because that's what you is. You ain't finna play with me with no motherfucking apps, no phones, no, none of that shit. About three, four days, bitch. A week, too long. Too long you ain't try to pull up. Because how we know if we should even be communicating past this if you ain't poor? Listen, online can fool you. I know I look cute on this uh live. Come pull up and check it out. I know my hair look, you know, soft and bouncy. Nigga, come pull up and touch it. You don't want to pull up? I don't want to talk to you no way. I'm going to go back to like we on the uh the plans where you play for your minutes. What's up? Because I only got about, uh, you know, an hour of minutes left on my plan this month. Mind you, it ain't nothing but the 7th or the 8th of the month. I'm almost out of minutes. What's up? Page me. Page you. Yeah, page me. Bye. You're not finna play with me on no electronics, bitch. No, sir. Three, four days. You ain't said nothing about no date. You ain't said nothing about meeting up somewhere. It ain't even gotta, it ain't even gotta be about no spending no money. You ain't trying to meet me in the parking lot at the mall nowhere. The talk in person. Don't worry about it. I don't want it. Don't want it. I'm gonna fuck with you. I holla at y'all, you mama and them doing. Y'all yeah, right, bruh. Y'all the real bitch. Fuck. I'm not finna be doing all that playing with you niggas. The fuck? A grown man anyway that got real interest in you wanna pull up anyway to see if that shit look like it look on the apps. Grown people know. Bitch take a picture from the right angle. She can look skinny when she really fat. Bitch can look like she got curves and really don't. These filters and shit make it like your face and everything, skin clear, everything. Pull up. Nigga genuinely interested, he gonna pull up. Y'all be talking to them niggas for months, weeks. When you finally do pull up, nigga wanna fuck. Y'all in there in your house with the lights dimmed down and shit. Nigga can't even get a good look at you. Girl, he wasn't interested in you like that. A nigga that's genuinely trying to see if this whole wife material or somebody I want to fuck with. Turn the lights on. Come on, let's go out in the daytime. Y'all fuck with them niggas. Text y'all all day. Only want to pull up and see you at night. Nigga don't want to see you when the sunlight hits your skin. The fuck? It's the electronic relationships for me. I can't. I cannot. Nigga coming over, you done dim the lights and shit. No, you ain't finna do nothing but get fucked. Then you be on the phone call with me trying to figure out how to make the relationship serious. Or why he ain't, why he stopped talking to you. Why? Because he done already got the pussy. And you was an electronic fuck. That's worse than a bitch paying you for some pussy. Like, I'd rather hot girl summer and get some actual cold hard cash or a cash out the fuck a nigga than to sit around and you you give me text messages and phone calls and then I'm going to fuck you based on that. Because your text game good. I know some niggas right now, they share messages. Legitimately, I know some dudes right now, they got a default good morning text that they be sending to bitches. 
It's like a paragraph, but it got some raw ass shit that make y'all hoes wake up in the morning, look at y'all phone, and be smiling. By eight niggas sharing this message. I know it for a fact, bro. They showed it to me. Y'all hoes go for it. Nigga, never pull up. I'd rather trick. Give me the old fashioned way, bitch. Come take me shopping afterwards. You got a condom. We'll fuck. Because this shit y'all be doing. Niggas sending y'all default messages. Texting you all day long. And off of that, you feel like you in some sort of commitment. It's the electronic devices for me. It's the iPhones for me. To my, to my desk file. No, it ain't. Y'all dumb enough to go for it. It ain't. It ain't foul. Y'all dumb enough to sit there and genuinely believe as a 35, 40 year old, excuse me, 27 year old adult that you're in some sort of serious relationship when all y'all do is text and FaceTime one another like teenagers. Y'all don't talk about no real shit. Bitch ain't trying to get to know you at all as an adult. And you really believe y'all in a real relationship. I default text y'all ass too. Yeah, I know it hit hard as fuck for some people. Because some of y'all thought y'all had it going on. Y'all love to do screenshots. This is what killed me about hoes in my city. They want to prove a point to you. They want to screenshot some texts. Niggas will text you anything. About that wet, wet. Some of you niggas don't understand neither. About some money, a bitch will text you anything. A hoe will tell you anything. A bitch will tell a nigga, hey, be quiet. He calling. The one that be paying my rent. Nigga, right on the side. Make that nigga be quiet and answer a FaceTime for your ass. Because you ain't going to pull up. You going to ride around all day and text her and shit. Feeling all giddy in your stomach and shit like some shit going on. Grown folk, pull up. Y'all don't want to hear this kind of shit. Your mama ain't going to tell you that. Y'all love to get on the one-on-one -on -one me. We be on the phone all day, love. I have no idea that he had a lady. Lady I was just on the call with. The nigga was married. Got a whole wife. Her whole claim to not knowing was that they, he was on the phone with her all day. I be on the phone with y'all all day. On one-on-ones. But I be in stores. I be in restaurants eating. I be with my nigga. I be with my best friend. I be out in a box. Popping my shit all while on a FaceTime call or with my AirPods in my ear talking to y'all ass. Making money while I'm shopping, driving around, whatever. Yeah, y'all talking about the default text message file. Like somebody just said it, just like a Hallmark card. Bitch know when, when Mother's Day come around and shit, you go in there and buy the cars, it be a default message on there. You find the one most applicable to your mama, cop that hoe and take it to her. And you expect her to like it. That's what these niggas doing with y'all. They got a default message. Good morning, beautiful. I hope you have a great day. I want to see you, blah, 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 blah. And I'm missing that body. You smiling at the phone. Eight other bitches got the same message. And it ain't even got to be that the nigga messaged them to him. Him, his homeboy, his brother, his daddy, and their uncle all take that same message and send it to all of y'all dumbasses. Y'all dumb enough to A lot of y'all, when y'all booking these one-on-ones with me, when y'all talk to Pinky, Desiree, or Tamika, tell them the truth. I want to talk to love about this electronic relationship I'm in. I want to talk to love about this marriage I'm in through text message. I want to talk to love about this whoop-de-whoop -whoop situation I'm in where me and a nigga just fuck and text and call all day long. We don't actually do no adult shit together. Tell them that's what you want to talk to me about. So I am prepared with the game when you get on the phone. I want to be ready for your calls. Three, four days with me. Three, four days. You don't pull up. I'm going to fuck with you. 
All right, I fuck with you. Take a nigga with him. I need to be, yeah, exactly. I need to be prepared for the shenanigans. Get me ready for the bullshit. Tell them what y'all really want to talk to me about. So when I get the message, love, you got 130 one on one with Joanne Jones, and it's about this. Tell them. Tell them I want to talk to love about my electronic relationship. I want to talk to love about my electronic boyfriend. Say that when you book the one-on-one. -on -one. Stop making me think we on a call talking about a nigga that you actually dating. I'm over it. I'm over it. Nah, I gotta go. Get me something to drink. And do these other one-on-ones. I gotta go. Hopefully this helps some of y'all. Lay off the texting and calling, bitch, and pull up in real life. Pull up in real life. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Bitch, be all in the face. You so pretty. This is what niggas love to say. You so pretty. Nigga, when is you going to come see about this pretty in person? Your eyes so pretty. Come look in them bitches for real. It's the electronic relationships for me. All right, I'm going to fuck with y'all. All right.